This is called Bar S Reserve in Lakeland, Florida. All kind of little picnic areas here, pavilions. It's a nice semi sunshiny, cloudy day. <laughs> Overcast, that's the word I was looking for, overcast. Look at these trees and the beautiful moss. Oh my gosh, love it. So right now, I just finished shooting a couple videos for Sit and Share Sunday. Yes, one on my Uh, experience at Walmart and the other couple one about buying land why I'm buying instead of renting and a couple other sit and share Sundays pretty cool but right now I got a little Hormel turkey and beans chili little Minute Maid and brought over some crackers and I'm gonna sit here there comes the Sun again and enjoy a little lunch and then go on a walk hope you'll join me and to hear serene and simple life walking walking there's a cool sign Bald Eagle Wingspan, 72 to 90 inches. Yeah. You know how I love trivia. Full-time nomad here, living life large, 29 months. First 14 months in a Acura sedan. Now, the last 15 months in a Toyota Highlander. For those of you who are new, and today I am at Bar S Reserve in Lakeland, Florida. I do not know exactly where this path is leading me. My friend Kimberly, who lives here, told me to check it out. It's free. She knows how I love free. There's a cool little urban community, wetlands, stormwater ponds, definition of a wetland. Look at all the birds. The bunny trail, <laughs> the bird trail. But Kimberly told me to watch out for alligators. <laughs> so that I will be doing. <laughs> Do they really come up here on the path, Kimberly? Tell me no. Tell me no in the comments. <laughs> so it says here, Shady Oak, 0.2 miles to center, 0.4 miles to the lake. Lake Trek. Which way do I go, guys? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go to the right. Even though they say in Disney World, go to the left, because most people go to the right, but this is not Disney World. <laughs> I think there's only about 10 of us here today. So, on down the path, good little walk. It's probably about, I don't know, 68, 70 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful day. And look at the flowers over there. Little red flowers, white ones, purple ones. Cool. Can you see them? And uh, a breeze. So I have a long sleeve top on. And I know there's many of you out there who are freezing and you're like, okay, a long sleeve top on. What I wouldn't give to have just a long sleeve top on, right? And I have capris on and my sandals. <laughs> so yeah, that'll give you an idea of what the weather is right now. Look at the birds. Awesome. Okay, when I see boards like this, 
I expect to see butterflies flying around and they're not. <laughs> More than 30 species could be found in the reserve. Wow. Alrighty, we'll have to keep our eyes open. Look at these trees. So, I'm not really a big fan of trees with moss. Tell me in the comments, do you like the trees with moss? I mean, I see their beauty, but at the same time, I see like spooky. Like these would be in a horror movie <laughs> where I don't necessarily think palm trees would be. Now there is a palm tree over there. So, but the way they're hanging down, they're like, to me, they're like ghostly. I don't know, but there is a, a eerie coolness about them. So, I mean, every state has its beauty in its own way. Um, I guess I'm just more a fan of like evergreens. <laughs> I'm more in favor of the trees in Washington. How about that? Or the pine trees that I grew up with in Pennsylvania. But um, yeah, I guess they could grow on me. No pun intended. <laughs> this moss looks like it could grow anywhere. All right. Through the through the moss we go up here. I mean, look how low hanging it is. It's like this narrow path and you go through the moss to get to more moss. And there's a lone palm tree out there. Pretty. Okay. Certainly don't mind your opinion. <laughs> like mossy trees or you don't <laughs> I'm not sure which way I'm going with them I, I, I guess I am leaning towards the uh, they're mysterious and they're a little on the spooky side to me See, that's interesting right there to me because that little tree with those green leaves and there's moss hanging down that moss doesn't look like it belongs there Maybe the moss remind me of Dusty. Now, with your comments, I might change my mind on this. I could change my tune here. I'm just giving you initial thoughts, and I don't recall ever seeing this much moss before. Okay, this is very, very cool. Look at the red leaves over there just one little clump as i'm walking along the wind blowing that makes for more of a good spooky movie <laughs> i don't know i guess if it was still that would be spooky too right look at the interest though i'm telling you the interest I like to call trees nomads, and, the, and these are some fascinating nomads here. Wow. Talk about unique and God's glorious beauty here. Beauty of his. Even if, even if these are not on the top of my list for my favorite trees, there is still, still magnificence in these. Just in, just in how they're growing. Okay, this is beauty. This is really, really beauty. Look at those palm trees. And then the mossy trees and the sun being out. Yes, I don't ever remember a spooky movie where the sun's out. <laughs> Maybe I was just feeling the spooky because it was uh, gray and overcast. But now we've got the sun. This is absolutely stunning, beautiful. And when you've got the mix of both, then it's not like the moss is overtaking. I think it's because it feels like it's overtaking everything. That's it. I'm getting, I'm getting clearer in my thoughts here. 
But this, look at that. I mean, that is stunning. Free, stunning, outside, today. And the path and the greenery on both sides, all this grown up grass. I mean, does it get any better than this, guys? Hello, Moss. We're getting to be friends here. <laughs> and then it opens up. Oh my gosh, Kimberly, you were right. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Your state is beautiful. Florida, just a little sampling here. And we're headed down to the lake. I love water. Which way do I go, left or right? I see, I don't know, I'll just go down this way. And uh, this place closes, I think, at 6.15, I think the sign said. I don't know why on the, on the quarter hour, but I think that's what I saw. Are these big ant moles, ant hills? Those are everywhere in all different sizes. Not here, but just everywhere. So you know I've got to be on guard. Oh, the lake through there. Yeah. Wouldn't this be an awesome place if you could just pull up here and camp? I think that would be great. But I'm thinking that's not allowed. So we just keep on keeping on. As these are the flowers that will bloom here in a little bit for this crazy winter that Florida has. <laughs> yeah. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. January in Florida. I know you're watching this in February, but for those of you who are new, Sometimes six weeks out, sometimes four weeks out, sometimes up to two months because of the amount of videos I do and always because of safety. We are not posting in real time unless it's a sit and share Sunday or something. Then, yeah, those are real time, but those are at a picnic table. So that's quite different than showing you places that I'm at. So there you go. I don't know what's going on over here. All right, keep going. Check it out, guys. It's the water ahead. Maybe they're building some campsites. Wow. Now, Kimberly has also given me now another two or three different places that I need to go check out and just hang out for the day. Wilderness has the right of way. All right yield or turn around if you encounter wildlife in the path of the trails. Ooh. I'll be asking you to go home. I guess this is where you pay attention to an alligator coming out, right? And I'm joking but not. Because they could be living anywhere here, right? They don't have to just be in the water. Okay. No one else around. You hear the birds. It's beautiful. If I see a crocodile, I will be turning around or an alligator. Thanks for the warning, Kimberly. <laughs> oh, she's not kidding. Like they could be like right there. Wow. No trespassing. No, nope, we won't be going up there. Here's the sign. She laughed when she said this, but I guess she's serious. Alligators live here. Okay. April is courtship. May is breeding. June, July is egg laying. August and September is hatching and guarding the young. They don't say anything about January. Average size. Male up to 13 feet. Female rarely more than 9 feet lifespan 30 to 35 years okay we share the land with wildlife we can coexist peacefully with alligators by acting responsibly and respecting their space you got it no getting in their space so just gonna head on down here a little bit more and probably wrap up this video because I'm on low battery and I don't have the battery pack with me. Ooh, look at that. But it would be quite, 
quite an experience to see an alligator popping his head out here, don't you think? Like I've been on, I think a boat in Florida at one time. I can't remember when I was, I don't know, growing up and we went on some kind of boat and you could see the alligators, but never up close and personal. <laughs> Yikes. Ooh, there's one of my friends. Is that a, what kind of bird is that? Is that a pelican, a heron? I don't know what you are, but you sure are pretty. Are you keeping an eye out for me? Okay, this is massive water here, massive body of water. I like those trunks. And I love the sounds. I'm telling you, he's on guard. He is doing a fine job. So I'm gonna walk down here. And that'll be the extent of my exploring today. It's been lovely. Ooh, there's another one. Pretty guy. They're like statues. I mean, if you didn't know better, you would think they were just like yard statues. <laughs> and the way he's balancing on that log. Wow. Got some people riding a bike. I'm not alone. Alrighty guys. You know how I say through the through the window when I'm looking at trees. Ooh, another bird. Look at this. No alligators yet. Maybe I'll save a little bit in case I do see one. How about that? I'll save a little bit of my battery. Quite a long walk yet down there. All right. Go this way. Nice.
endless nightfall. You know, and these cypress trees, when they're near the water, that there's a different uh, ambiance about them too, a different feeling. But I loved seeing all the different birds and the swamps and I don't know, it was just, it was just a very, very peaceful, beautiful walk. And who knows if I'll be back here someday or not. But for now, that's about it as I leave Bar S Reserve. Thank you, Kimberly, for sharing this place to come see and go see do. Alrighty, blessings in your day and joy in the journey.